Thank you very much. So I always say we want to be part of something bigger than ourselves, but also we want to make an impact. And I see that James had a hand raised. Is this something for the Yes, could you go back two slides for on the on the weekend events? We will have that again at the end, but go ahead. Okay, so you say July 10th is 1 to 9 p.m. Is that correct? Because the invitation I received was 1 to 5. So 1, one to 5. So okay. it's 1 to 5, but we're, we're going to continue having fun. They have free alcohol and free, we'll feed you, and uh, we don't want you to go to bed hungry. We also have some games to play, so that's why it's going to be fun to be there in person. We have okay. games. It's going to be awesome. Thank you, James. Do you prefer Jamie? All right, how can you make an impact? Well, first I have a question for you. Before we jump into that, I wanna ask you a question. Now, I know that you, every one of you have a lot of talent. And I wanna ask you to go to the chat box and put one word, just one word that describes the most significant talent that you bring to the table. What's one word that people use to describe you? This is gonna help your team members begin to know a little bit about your strengths. It'll help us understand how to work together to fulfill your role. See a lot of great words coming in. And don't worry, we will capture all of these. We'll put them in a document in a readable format and send them back out so that you get to know your team members a little bit better. Thank you. Now I'm gonna ask you, Another question, please put into the chat, what's the one thing, and try to use one word, that you'd like to improve? What's one thing you'd like to be better at? This will help us to, to know how to support each other. <laughs> Singing, friendly. Time management, technology. Oh, there's just so many great things things and I'm not going to read them all right now but thank you for participating and what we're going to do now you can you can keep them coming that's perfect we're going to go ahead and talk about the objectives for our first module you may wonder why all this training well we know the importance of recognizing the relationship between various stakeholders and leaders in the district we want you to understand your role to recognize the importance of supporting clubs by fulfilling your role. We want to be able to identify the expectations of the role. You know, we're all counting on each other to lead the district and support each other. So we're going to do a break room activity. Now, this is the first of many opportunities this year that you're going to have to work with your team. Sue will put the workbook in chat, or you can open the one that you received via email. We're going to cover session one in the workbook today. It's called Making an Impact. It starts on page two. It's page two through four. We want to, uh, we want to make many meaningful impacts as leaders. And this workbook is going to help you understand how you can make an impact. Now, we don't have full teams today in the meeting for various reasons. So... I think it would be um, easier. We don't want to have just one or two people in, t in a room. What we're going to do, if you're in Division A or Division F, when Sue's going to put you in room A. So A or F will go into room A. D and G will go into room D. So I think she's automatically assigning you the room. So are you automatically assigning them or uh, do they choose a room? I think you're just going to send them. I out. have already put everybody into the room, hence why I had you put the first. So when the room opens, don't go please yet. When the room opens, you should go in with your associated room. If you don't, please come back and I can reassign you in case I misassigned. Thank you so much. In just a minute, you're going to see a button. Well, you're, a button's going to pop up that says join breakout. So when you click on that button, you'll be whisked away to join your team and discuss the questions in your workbook. 
Now the workbook says 25 minutes, but we're actually going to go for 20 minutes today. Watch for broadcast messages. When the time is up, the breakout room will close and you'll be brought back here. Then we'll discuss some of the ideas that you came up with in your sessions. Members of the trio will pop in and out to see how it's going. Now, if at any time you need help, press the ask for help button. The, so one of the first things you want to do is select a scribe. Now, this person can share the screen with the workbook open. As you talk, they can take notes on the workbook. And then please share this workbook later on with the team so everybody has all the same notes there together. Oh, I'm so excited. Make sure you have, it's important to have a timer, but we're also going to let you know when it's about 10 minutes uh, left and then we'll, and a couple minutes left and then we'll bring you back. Woo, are you ready? Sue, are you ready to send our teams to the breakout rooms? One moment, please. Uh, let's see, if people are showing up, I. I think the best way is I'm going to assign everybody. And for those I have not assigned, I will catch you up. So instead of me holding up everybody for a few latecomers, I'm going to go ahead and hit the button. And for those who are not assigned, please give me a moment. So yes, I am ready, Debbie Joe, if you are ready. Okay, perfect. So you can go ahead and stop sharing the slide and we can see who, uh, who might need help with, re with changing their name. So some of you already have your name. We'll see you shortly. We'll see you back in 20 minutes. All right, opening up the room again. I'll check for those I don't have assigned. Start my timer. Welcome back. I hope this was fun. Let me tell you the first time we did this at TRIO training, they sent us into breakout rooms. And to be honest, we didn't get through all the questions the first time because we were busy getting to know each other. Now that may have happened to you today. And if so, I certainly understand that, but you do have your workbook and you have the opportunity to go through that. And we're also gonna talk about some of these questions. So we really wanna hear um, from, from you what uh, some of the answers. So Vicki, if you'll show the, the first question. So here's how we're gonna do this. We'll have one representative from your team share what you came up with. Now you're going to have one minute to answer what meaningful impact can you have and a minute to tell us how this impact can be delivered. So we're going to ask Sue. Sue will be your timer and we'll close uh, in just a minute. We'll be able to see each other. So I just wanted to see what the question is. So for the first question, we're going to go with rooms E and A. So rooms E and A, you'll have someone from your team to talk for one to two minutes about what meaningful impact can you have on communications between clubs in your area? And then how can that impact be delivered? So E and A, by the way, if your team's not called on, but you still have things you wanna contribute, you can put your thoughts into chat. We are gonna download the chat, put it in a readable format and share all these wonderful ideas with you a little bit later on. So for this one, we start with E and A, we'll go with E first. E, remember to unmute your microphone, someone from E and tell us what meaningful impact can you make on communication between clubs in your area and how can that be delivered? So um, one of the things that uh, is Toastmaster goal is communication. And even though we're on an area level, I think it is critical within your area that you pass on a uh, different type of info that's coming from the uh, district area. A lot of times we assume that just the fact that a president received an email, you know, asking for help for a contest or something else that's going on within the district, a lot of time we assume, okay, I did get that email. So I'm assuming that everyone else received it as well. And we find out throughout the process that that is not the case. And a lot of, you know, we have a lot of great talent, a lot of great people within different clubs with different things that they could do. But if they don't get that info that is trickled down from the presidents, from the district, for the, you know, area, the president, the clubs, then we are missing out on, you know, vital skills 
skill sets that can actually be used, but that is key, communication. And how can that impact be delivered? It could be delivered by, um, uh, you know, just by passing it on, you know, if it comes to the president, the president should be trickling that info down to his uh, club members and say, hey, guys, look here, uh, we have a contest coming up. We need help with uh, functionary roles, different things, or even, uh, you know, just to bring them up on not just your club level, but bring them up on the district level. This is what goes on in the district. You know, you might not be a district officer, but we would love to get you in, in engaged in what's going on because someday you might want to take on their role and it's, a, it's better for the club as a whole if you know what's going on, not only at your club, but also on the district level. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Donald. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go someone from room A, please answer the same question. How, what meaningful impact can you make on communication be between clubs in your area and how can that impact be delivered? And remember, if you're not in A or E, but you have something to contribute, you can put that in chat. Uh, someone from room A, get them out. Yeah, I'll be willing someone. to talk about it. Thank you. Uh, one of the things we were talking about communication, effective communication, I agree with Donald what he was saying too is <clears throat> for our effective communication is to be able to build rapport with the officers but also the members by them seeing the face knowing who the division director is and last year with the COVID situation we were kind of limited in being able to get out and actually see people with us returning and seeing the communication now we're actually going to be able to have build that rapport with the officers and just don't stop at the president continue down to the vp and further down sometimes the president gets overwhelmed with their emails they don't see things the vp can see things and catch areas and start building early in the conversation as we talked about earlier too is get out there early and start identifying those you may not be ready for district level today but six months from now you might be interested in but it also gives you an opportunity to start looking for your contest chair, your contest participants, and also keep the communication going. And as Debbie, you've heard me talk about a million times is we get swamped with emails. A lot of things sometimes we do get from the district, we get lost in the email jungle. But share techniques. If you have techniques or they have techniques, ask them plain and simple. Hey, do you guys have a way we can figure out, get the, my higher priority emails out? Do you guys so everyone sees them? Because a lot of times there's younger Toastmasters that are hungry for knowledge, but they don't know where to go. So ensuring that communication is going through will help a lot. A lot of great points there. And find out how do people want to be communicated with and then communicate with them like that. All right, thank you. Let's see the slide for the next question. And for the next question, we'll have room C and room H. Now remember, you have two minutes total. So the question on the floor is, what meaningful impact can you have on club presidents in your area? And how can this impact be delivered? So room C, someone from room C, please unmute your microphone. We'll stop sharing the slide and tell us what answers you have come up with to the question. On meaning, what meaningful impact can you make on club presidents in your area? Thank you. I'm going to speak for C. We have that um, most importantly, it's, I learned this from Orrin, who's our area director right now. And that is that they can attend club meetings and just be present to have, start forming a relationship and foster those um, communication skills that are necessary. They can also make sure that they're available for club functions. For instance, when our club had our contest, Orrin was not only, of course, there, but she was able to jump in and assist us when we needed a, um, a judge a contest master and that kind of thing. And also um, to, to be active within the clubs, not just in attendance and participating where necessary, but just to make sure that they they are doing what they need to do on a regular basis, just to constantly be present and in order to, to make sure that they know that you're there for them. Thank you very much. And let's also hear from someone from Division H. 
So Division H, can someone, can you unmute your microphone? Remember, we have two minutes total and tell us what meaningful impact can you make on club presidents in your area and how can that impact be delivered? As area directors, we have a duty to be present, to provide support, encouragement, to reach out to the district officers if we have any needs or concerns that we are unable or unfamiliar with that the club needs assistance with the president. And most importantly, we are to follow up with them, follow up and follow through. And we'll do that by being present, communicating with them, sending emails. But most importantly, we need to be an example, to lead by example, to set goals, be approachable, and willing to offer support so that the club presidents can manifest and they can be successful with their goals. Thank you very much. All right, so we're now, and, and if you have something to add to either of those, please feel free to add your comments in chat if you weren't called on for that one. For our next one, let's please have a representative from room I and room B. Remember, you have two minutes total. Representative from room I, <clears throat> pardon me, please unmute your microphone. Tell us what answers you came up with to the question, what meaningful impact can you make on the achievement of members' goals in your area? And how can this impact be delivered? Someone from room I. Felt that we needed to establish a clear link between the goal and mission of the overall organization to the goal to increase membership and attain club success. In other words, so that the data is not the end all. We don't collect the data to collect data. We collect data so that we can achieve the development of good public speaking skills, leadership, and to encouraging people to grow and learn. The data collection is merely an indicator I think sometimes if you put a grid of data in front of people, they want to fill in the box without understanding the connection between the box and the vision and the mission. And those are the gist of the ideas in that area that we discussed. Thank you. Make the connection and fill in the box. Thank you for that. B, would you please unmute yourself and answer the same question on the achievement what meaningful impact can you have on the achievement of members' goals? I can do it. Thank you. Uh, I think that our main function will be to go into the clubs and be their eyes. It's kind of like when you give a speech, you can't see yourself giving the speech, and that's why we have our evaluation process. So as the area director, you go in and you take a look of look at all of the things that would be important to members and be able to be the eyes and ears for the club. I think it's really important that you start with the basics and that the club is in good condition before you bring loads and loads of members in because if the foundation of the club isn't good, then the members won't end up staying. So the best thing I think we can do is to go in and identify little things here and there that the club can start to change um, in order to increase their membership and also help with things like marketing and making sure their website is clear and concise and up to date. Um, but basically observations is helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good point. And we will talk about how to identify the opportunities that clubs have for improvement in, in the next segment. All right, so let's go with uh, room D we haven't heard from yet. And the question is, what meaningful impact, um, actually, let me go ahead and put that in chat. And it's okay. So what meaningful impact can you make on alignment between the district, the area, and the club, the district, the division, and the clubs in your area? And how can that impact be delivered? Please unmute yourself, someone from room D, and fill us in on the answers you came up with. I can take this one. Um, I was the scribe, so maybe for this session, I can answer this one. 
So unfortunately, we did not make it to question number seven with the time allocated, but for the other questions, the theme was recurring. And that was, we need to be more involved with the club. We need to visit them more frequently and we need to line ourselves up with the goals of the club and the president and see how we can help them achieve those goals. Thank you. And we only had one uh, group for that one. So would anyone else like to chime in whether on the, uh, how can you make, how can you make a meaningful impact? Does someone else okay. have any other? Yes. This is Norma Chris. I yes, think um, how we can help them in aligning them with the district is, is a very good and important question. We need to make sure that our clubs, our club officers, our members, everybody knows that we have club, area, division, district, etc. because a lot of people don't explain those things to the members of their clubs. And when you say something like, well, the district has, they are completely out of any information. So it's important that we trickle that information down to everybody so they know our structure. Good point. Trickle down the information and uh, Donald alluded to that as well. Letting people know it, it's you're part of something bigger than yourself and you don't even really maybe know how big the, something that you're part of is. So help them to understand that. Any other comments on these uh, in any of these questions? Yes, you know, a lot of times um, members, they think that it's no larger than their actual club. <laughs> they don't realize that it's a broader scope, that it's a bigger picture. They think, uh, wow, you know, my club, you know, or maybe a neighboring club, and they think that that's the extent of it. They know that the bigger picture is Toastmasters, you know, the world, you know, you know Toastmasters, but they don't realize that there's something bigger within the area, within the you know district, within the region. So the more they have the knowledge of that, the more they can see their own growth, and they will want to even grow to something even larger, and not just you know being a um, you know a lot of times they might max out as being a, a big fish in a small pond, but they but you know but there's a bigger pond, and they can grow even larger, and the uh, more that they know that then the more that they can prep on say, hey, you know, I would like to grow even, you know, you know, larger than just within my club area. A lot of great points today. And we'll uh, look at the last slide now. So whatever you do, look to make a positive impact wherever you can. And the slide says focus on areas we can have the most significant impact and Literally, you, right this minute, you may not know where you can have the most significant impact. It's going to come down to some of the notes I was taking, uh, helping people be the eyes and ears, helping people to make that connection, start with the basics. And we're going to talk in a little bit about the dashboard, how to find out a little bit even before you visit the clubs to see where they might need uh, more impact. The... Um, follow up, follow through. These are some of the things I heard. Find out how people want to be communicated with and help people understand what the, some of the opportunities. A lot of us join a club. I'm in a corporate club and a lot of people in my club have never done anything outside. They don't even know what a district director is. They just, sometimes people just don't get it, but it's up to us to, to bring those opportunities, share those opportunities with them and help them to, to grow. Help us. We all want to get out of our comfort zone, get bigger, become better people, be a part of something, make an impact. And you have a, a bigger opportunity now to make more of an impact potentially that you may have had in the past. Let's stop sharing the slides so we can see each other. Any final comments or questions on the segment we just covered? And yes, Sue said, please feel free to add additional ideas. We will copy them, put them into a document so that you can have them at a later date. Any final 
words before we take the time. I think, yes. In one of the things that District H or Division or Division, Division H, I'm, I'm, it's all running together. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the the we were all in alignment with was that we believe it's very important to, to keep the lines of communications open and to be supportive by being proactive, not reactive. It's important mm -hmm. for you to assist the president and act, and act as a sounding board, but to offer the assistance and ask them what they need, not assume what they need. Let them tell you what they need so that they don't feel like you're overstepping. And this happens oftentimes when there's a changing of the guard. Sometimes people, the predecessors are so, they're wanting the next team to be so so successful that they overthink that they overlook the fact that this person is in a capacity they're coming in they have to establish their own plan of action and how they want to operate and then they can ask after they get their bearings they can ask for whatever assistance they need rather than you everyone and i know i've been on jobs before and i've been promoted and the first thing they said well susie used to do it this way well, susie, well i'm not susie sweet we have to try to see how we can do it obviously if susie was doing all that great susie would still be here you know, I mean, that's the little, you know, the little devil that's on your shoulder. And you're thinking, <laughs> well, let me think of a tactful way to say this, but but I, I think that we all agree that it's important to ask them what they need and not assume. Yeah, remember, we are leaders, we're not managers. So, all right. Well, I have so enjoyed this. I hope you have. We're going to take a little break. We will come back, Vicki, what time?